previously on Walt in PA. Hey there, Walt here from Walt in PA. Oh. And it was cold. I glanced over, we had this glass uh, like patio table and there was a nice layer of frost Hey guys, what's up? This is Goofy Bastard here, and you're watching Walton PA. Hey there, Walt here from Walt in PA. We are out for a ride on a rather brisk Sunday morning. Oh man, it is cold out here. It was uh, 32 degrees when I got on the bike. I can't imagine it's warmed up much since I set out. Uh, I already had to turn around and go home once because it was so cold. I needed another layer. And I, uh, I grossly underestimated the, how warm my thermal liner would be inside my jacket. It's not so bad on my torso, but the, uh, the liner is kind of like a vest. And I have a perforated jacket. <laughs> so you can only imagine how cold my arms were. I was wearing a t-shirt. So I had to slink myself back home with stinging cold arms and, uh, and get a sweatshirt on. And now it's not so bad. My arms are still cold, but it's, uh, it's definitely bearable. So it is, it is a frosty Sunday morning. So I am on my way to the Kutz Mill Bridge in Kutztown. Now there's actually, I was gonna go to a different covered bridge this morning. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Dribbles or Dribbles or Dribbles. I'm not, I'll put it on the screen so you can read it and I'm sure someone can explain to me how to phonetically sound it out. But, um, so I was looking at two bridges this morning. The, the one in Lenhartsville and the one in Kutztown. And the issue that I ran into was that neither one of them had good places to park. Um, they're kind of right off the road uh, and then they're surrounded by private residences. So neither one of them were, were looking too good as far as parking was concerned, but I was gonna just give it a shot anyway. So I started reading reviews. You know, I don't know that I've ever read a review on a covered bridge before. But there was a review that said that the Drebles Bridge in Linhartsville was rebuilt in 2020 or updated in 2020. So it's got all new timbers and they say it looks really good. And I thought, you know what, that's if if that one is the one to see because it has been maintained because it was under maintenance or rebuilt just recently that, you know, that's the one I'm going to go see. So I, uh, I pulled up directions, it wasn't too bad. You know, it was more or less a straight shot all the way out to the bridge. That was the plan. I went out, I got gas, I froze my ass off on the way, on the short little trip to the gas station. And uh, I decided, yeah, there's no way I'm riding out to the Lenhartsville in this weather with this gear. It's just way too cold and there's way too much open road riding. Um, so basically it would be like this, doing 60 miles an hour, well, for, let me rephrase that. It'd be like this doing 45 miles an hour uh, for about 45 minutes. Whereas if I were to go to Kutztown, where, which I'm doing right now, um, the ride would be broken up a little bit. Uh, I'd be taking some back roads. So I'd have this, this long stretch right here where I'm riding on open road where it's kind of cold, but uh, the, the wind won't be so bad when I turn off up here. So that was my rationale for going to the bridge that was a little bit closer. It was uh, this way I don't have to, to deal with the cold so much. But it, uh, it poses an interesting dilemma here and it really shines a spotlight on that phrase, you don't know what you don't know. Well, I didn't know anything about cold weather riding and well, now I know it's, uh, it's a bit more difficult than I anticipated. And it's going to be a real challenge coming up here in a couple months when, whoa, there's a yard back there, right? So we're in Pennsylvania. There, is deer, there are deer everywhere. And you'll, you have to keep an eye, eye out for them. And, you know, I'm always a little nervous. 
you know, on the lookout for deer. Well, there's a house back there, there where I kind of freaked out a little bit because uh, it's got fake deer set up in the yard. You know, there's like a whole herd of them. You know, there's a mommy deer and a daddy deer and like six kids, you know, six little kid deers or six baby deers. And I always forget it's there. And every time I see it, whether I'm in my car or just now on the bike, it freaks me out a bit because I'm thinking, oh my God, this herd of deer is gonna, is gonna spook and run out into the road. So anyway, back to uh, the cold weather riding. So I guess I'm going to need to upgrade some gear. Um, I thought maybe I could get through with what I've got, but I don't see that happening. I've only been riding for about 15 minutes. My fingers are tingling. Um, you know, these gloves, which I thought were relatively heavy, are really not. So they, they do have some perforations in them for ventilation. So um, that's certainly not helping the situation. So I'm gonna need some, some heavier gloves. Definitely gonna need a jacket that is better suited for cold weather riding. I'm actually not worried about the pants. I am not wearing um, the thermal liner in the pants. And I've got a little tingling in my, in my thighs from the cold. But these pants are, um, they're really heavy. Like, I, they're, they're almost too heavy for summer riding because I, I kind of overheat in them. So I think they'll work out just fine in the winter if I put, um, if I put the thermal liner in them and wear them as overpants, I think that I'll be able to ride in 30 degree weather with no issues. My boots are fairly warm. Um, you know, top of my foot's a little cold, but, you know, I'm not wearing real heavy socks or anything. It, they're, um, what am I wearing? I'm wearing, like, hiking socks. They're, they're kind of like a compression sock. So, it's really not too bad. I mean, my, my, my arms could be warmer. And my fingers could be warmer. But otherwise, you know, this short little ride isn't, isn't terrible. So originally this was just going to be a discussion about uh, the covered bridge and it kind of turned into uh, a little bit of a cold weather motovlog. So I think I'm going to end it there, mostly just because I can, and uh, just kind of enjoy the scenery a little bit because coming through these back roads, it's kind of beautiful. The leaves are changing, you know, the sun's hitting things just right. I'm just going to shut up and ride. So, as always, thank you for watching. Ride safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.